What's up, everyone? Welcome back. We're carrying on with Lucifer. This is part three of our reaction. Let's get into it. Here we go. <clears throat> what? Oh, God. God, he walks in like a gangster, not like a cop. That is uh, the riddle. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Do you know what happens to me in that house? Bobby. Your Bobby. He treats me like a sex toy. Bobby, oh. Help me, Amma. Oh God. Help me out of this. You need to help your child. <laughs> okay, thank God. Thank God. Came to her senses. Because if she turned away from her daughter right now, I'd be like, this like, woman look, is hopeless. Yeah, we know you've gone through such a hard time in your life, but come on, at some point. Yeah, yeah you've got to listen. <laughs> ഫോർച്ചുനേറ്റ്ലിയ <laughs> 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 Oh. They are together? What a betrayal. 45 crores on an NPT. If you don't have any money, you don't have any money. You don't have any money. I don't have any money. I don't have any money. He's dead. Damn. I'm sorry, Priya. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stephen Jail. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what you're sorry for. What about the other thing about my daughter? Your mom. ജാനുവരി <laughs> Oh my god. Todu. What she's going to have her put in like a psychiatric facility. Ninda modanu. Let's see what he did there father to. Moral issue here. Yeah, you're gross. Ninda ini nodu parayanu. Para. Ninda varma uncle nodu parayanu. Adu Go to Stephen. Stephen will handle this for you. Damn. She turned 18 last week, right? Oh my God. So, This guy is... the vilest of monsters we need to find that guy with all of the info on him and have him do an expose go to steven yeah father knows best steven he knew it yeah you, you, you got to let go of your grudge you have no choice yeah 
And this is, you know. Damn, for the sake of her family and everything. Election at China, where I'm keep thinking of the theater. A China, not to go to the carrying a little. Could you know so well? Yeah, he's on to him. Yeah, he knows. He knows everything. He's always a step ahead. Yeah. In that job? How about Nada? Could you know? Yeah, that's that, enough. That, you incriminated that, yourself. That, that's subtext, and I know exactly everything. Yeah. Oh, that Steven. must have been the hardest phone call for her to make. Don't talk over the phone. Thank you. Thank you, Karma. Yes. Ingenuity, Kodi Kaisu, Kalam the Jam Dasar and Dodi Parnatunda. ശ്മശാനത്തിലൊരുമാടം Okay, so I guess he's not his son. This poor woman's just been like crying throughout this whole movie. ൂടെ <laughs> But a charn, I want to know. I know. In here, you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. Not for the ones I'm about to commit. You are not going to be able to do it. But are you they sure really sins you're about to commit? I don't know. I mean... I think it's justice he's about to commit. I think it's justice he's about to commit. I think it's justice he's about to commit. This guy's overconfident. Uh, I think it's going to immediately brush away when he sees Steven. Comedy. Episode slow. Oh, it's the woman who's Yeah. Ha. Ew. Do vandana undakane. Yee. Sahani trap. It's here. Oh. They love doing this. <laughs> We're gonna see it now. Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. You gotta let Steven slap him to deletion. <laughs> Can you imagine? That is not yeah. forgivable. Come be in my Ilwahana. Natale Lada. നിങ്ങളുടെ ഒന്നിച്ച് 
ഒരു ബോക്സ് ഇരിപ്പുണ്ട് അതിനുള്ളിലെ ഫോൾഡേഴ്സും ഫയൽസും നിനക്കുള്ളതാണ് അതിനോട് ചേർന്ന് മഹേഷ വർമ്മ എന്ന പേരുണ്ട് അത് ഞാൻ പറയാതെ വെച്ച് എന്തിനാണെന്ന് അറിയാം ഇനി മുതൽ ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് കേട്ട് നല്ല കുട്ടിയായി എന്റെ കൂടെ സ്റ്റീഫൻ നെടുമ്പള്ളിയുടെ അച്ഛനാരാണെന്നുള്ള സാറിന്റെ സംശയം അവിടെ നിൽക്കട്ടെ ഞാൻ bro. Oh yeah yeah grab the kid. Oof. God, the choreography is really good in this film. Yeah, it's fun. Oh. It's like a ninja there. I know, he just popped up out of nowhere. Woo! Dang. Oh, what does the chickens do to you? Whoa. Oh. 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 Oh, ouch. Oh, Ow. double break. Whoa. <laughs> Thank God you weren't in the car, sir. Everything was perfectly timed. Kura yes. Hafiz. Hey, thank you for ruining my car after I got out of it. <laughs> oh. Oh, burning the rope. How flammable is it? Can you imagine it just like whoosh, lights up his whoosh, arms and hands? Yeah. Are we not smelling burning rope, guys? I was going to say that, but I'm glad you beat me too because that's yeah. That would definitely be a smell there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they suspect it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Bobby's a beast as well. Shit. We didn't know this about you, Bobby. Oh, is this free ado- or whatever his name is? Yeah. Oh. He's back. Like, <laughs> That was sick. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. This guy is unbelievable. Oh, I mean, they were scared of him. Ay ay ay. Dang. Oh. oh. So I guess Bobby's not getting the funds from him. Yeah. Check it. Everybody's dead. Oh, Or no. you get free to You free to do. Yeah. He looks like he used to play rugby professionally or something. Or or a wrestler or something. Yeah. Like. Oh, dang. Bullet to the head. Steven going to stop him? He's mine. Yeah. Talk to the security guard. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, we're doing it in this bar. I love it. This is so damn epic. Yeah. Priya. Bobby and Dagodi. I was going to divorce you, <laughs> but instead I'll just be a widow. Um, give him the deletion order. Yep. There we go. your own wife. Y'all know me, I'm not the violent. I mean, obviously for entertainment purposes I like violence, but in this case I I condone it. <laughs> Bobby. Nee chagutan veda modunnathu kettittundo. Oh, what a gun. SK 2517 Palaya Neyamam. Kollaru thatha varthangalde swarthatha kondum, kroorathu kal kondum, neethimaanmarude paade ella vashangalil ninnu maakkalamikkunnu. ഈ അന്ധതയുടെ താഴ്വരയിൽ നിന്നും നീതിമാനെ കരകയറ്റുന്നവൻ അനുഗ്രഹീതനാകുന്നു 
എന്റെ പകയിൽ നീറി ഒടുങ്ങുമ്പോൾ അവരറിയും ഞാൻ അവരുടെ ഒരേ ഒരു രാജാവായിരുന്നു Oh wow. wow. I really thought that we were going to get another hand to hand. yeah. Yeah, like give him something torturous. That works too though. Yeah, that's fine. നമുക്ക് ഒരുമിക്കണം വരുക. വർമ്മസാറിന്റെ തല്ല് നമുക്ക് മുന്നിൽ കൊണ്ടുവരണം. വർമ്മസാർ കൂടെ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ആ ജെദിനെ നമുക്ക് കൊടുക്കാം. ആ കളവൻ ചത്താൻ പിന്നെ നമ്മൾ രണ്ടിര മാത്രം. പാർട്ടിക്ക് വേണ്ടി ഫണ്ട് തപ്പി നടന്ന ബോബി സാറും ഇപ്പ മട്ടവായി. ആ ഒരാളുണ്ട്. Oh god. ഞാൻ ഒന്ന് വിളിച്ചു നോക്കട്ടെ. എന്റെ പുസ്തകത്തിലൂടെ I mean that was the ultimate betrayal. I think he knew right when that woman accused him. Yeah. That it was him. Yeah. Or it also could have been too when he went and he was at that plant and yeah. those guys were there and he followed him. He must have known he was there too. Then I got told you today. I put to the kanu. Or a mariyada ven. Oh, everyone's got their spies. Whoa. Oh, with the train. Oh. <laughs> hey, thank you Varma. Oh, this poor guy. Thank God he wasn't deleted. Yeah. Priya patta govardhan. Taangal enne kurichu manasilaakiya adakke neraana. Keralam bhayikaadirunna. Ennal bhayikkenda etthom vidya vishasarpam. Raja Vembala. Njan thanneyaanu. Ningal therinjadutha valiyil thodarnu konde irikkuka. Satyaneshigale ee naadin avashyamaanu. Ee kattu ningal vaayikkumbol ningal ariyaade ningale kaathirikkunna mattoru sammanam. I hope. Sasneham. നിങ്ങൾക്ക് <laughs> I feel you though. That's But I'm happy But for maybe him. Maybe so much time has gone by. She's like, "Hey, yeah. She needs her fa- she needs her father." Yeah. And I missed him. Oh. What have we got here? He's going to make sure there are no more corruption in any countries. Shall we out all He's the corruption? He's so stylish. Who is it? Agar Sangani ye consignment poor banda lekar aaya to main dekhta hu ki kaun mother isko bikne se rok sakta hai. Tu kaun hai pehle ye bata. Sangani ki khichdi mein chamak daane wale kaun hai tu? Steven. Wo sabha ka beta hai. Daud hai. Kaun hai tu bol? Abraham. Oh. Kabeshi. Abraham. Cuz he was mentioned at the beginning of the movie and then just kind of like disappeared. What is this? Is this <gasps> That's who he was for like the whatever 15 years or so that he was missing. Oh, oh he's a gangster. Right, right. Epic looking gangster. So he's like he does good, but he's also equally like broken the law and done bad things. Ha, huh, interesting. What are we trying to say movie that heroes are gray characters? We should have picked up on that sooner because they did mention that he was working with like gold and stuff like right, that. Right, right. Yes. And then it was just like so long, do you and know what I mean? And also too they mentioned he was gone what 26 years yeah. and he wouldn't answer that. See, I thought he was stuck in the Jumanji game for 26 years. That's, <laughs> that's how long Alan Parrish was gone in that. But yeah, no, there were some subtle but cool twists in there as well. Yeah, for uh, sure. I mean, he could be using that cover as the gangster yeah, to maybe, maybe do good things now too. He's a nest. Okay, so this is so they're telling us now that like okay, fine, he's, he's doing, evil, but yeah. he's kind of He's evil. He's doing God's work yeah. <laughs> while being evil. He's doing what needs to be done. Whereas like maybe the 
yeah. the politicians and stuff are yeah. the ones that are truly evil. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. I get it. It was just so interesting that they brought that up in the beginning about mm -hmm. uh, Qureshi Abram. And then, like, we kind of forgot about that right. for, like, the longest time. Well, we were so endowed with all the, the politics yeah. and the corruption that it's so easy to just, like, kind of not linger on it anymore. I mean, there was so much. They did such a good job at the very beginning with that whole, I forgot the guy's name, the guy who was the truth seeker on that Facebook yeah. Live or whatever he was on. Setting up the stage with that whole setup and giving us, like, who the main players were going to be in that exposition that, again, it's so easy to just, again, go oblivion on that whole thing on who he really was, uh, yeah. that whole gangster thing. So, but, you know, at the end of the day, I love this character. Like, I just love how compassionate he was. Like, you, yeah, and with him, like, the ends do justify the means. Uh, Definitely. And again, too, I really love that this film, the theme about you know, forgiveness. I thought it was just, it was executed in such an appropriate way. And there were just so many disgusting, despicable human beings who got their due to, uh, in this film. And yeah. uh, it was done in such a satisfactory way. And again, the actors give them credit. They did such a good job of making you despise and hate them. Yeah. That when they did get their due, it was again, done just <laughs> done in such a satisfying way. It also shows too how scary it was uh, as well. I mean, they sh they did such a good job painting when we saw that book with the Julian Assange and the yeah. Edward Snow and like, okay, this is going to get into some scary territory here, like with corruption and all that. So I'm um, just setting you up uh, for what you're in for here. Who knows how uh, this could be like, I mean, with how corrupt, you know, stuff can get. I mean, m with money, you can uh, get people to do what you want with it. So, I mean, who knows like how deep it goes in the political game and media and how much they control. I mean... Wouldn't be surprising if a lot of this is very true. So, I mean, I don't follow it as much as maybe I should. I don't want to. I'm sure there's a lot of truth in uh, a good deal of this film. Yeah, for sure. I just want to, like, shout out my own ignorance at not recognizing Prithviraj Sukumaran as who he is because I was like I'm not sure if I've seen him before turns out I have because I have watched the the movie Jana Ganamana which is really great he did such a cool role in this just coming in as Zayed Masood and like just taking people out I think like Badass. <laughs> there's definitely a certain sense of style that you get with the the badass characters in this like Mohan Lal legend um, mm -hmm. I love and him. He's so great, and I know that everybody's all like, you know, he's a national treasure, he's truly a legend, and I think, is this my first proper movie watching him? I didn't watch Drishyam. Yeah, I mean, I've seen him in a lot of trailers. Oh, well, I've seen Jailer. Okay, so you have seen him. Right, that's with... Yeah, it is, is with, with Rajnikanth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I mean, he is, he is amazing, and I thought that in this movie, he doesn't actually say a lot. He didn't really have His like a lot of dialogue, but yeah, facial the expression. facial expressions and the body language and everything was just doing the most. Mm -hmm. And that's when you know you've got a really great actor is that like you don't even need lines, you know? Yeah. You're just communicating without words. And the fact that they were able to go in so tight on his eyes like that and you understood exactly what was being communicated that's like incredible acting to your right point there. what was the very first shot we saw of him it was literally the eye reveal exactly um yeah no this film did a great job of visual storytelling as well and also too we at least i did i know you did a few times such fantastic cinematography yeah. throughout the film i mean it was very artistic it was stylized i loved it so much also there were some really uh intuitive and intelligent uh things that they did too like we had that thing where you had the the i forgot his name but the guy who was the spy uh um, that betrayed um, Stephen. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Where he was like, we, we hear the gunshots in the distance, and then... <laughs> He's like, wait, what happened? And then we get back the non-linear storytelling uh, where they reveal uh, that Steven just annihilated them. I love stuff like that. Like that's, again, it's very, it's original and it's different. Uh, and I thought that was done very effectively. So I loved Steven so much again. Yeah. Uh, but the lines he did have, his acting was great. He had conviction in his lines. Yeah. Again, he was a very compassionate man. And I love too, like he didn't abuse his power. Uh, you know, he was again, like what his father did for him 
were taking him in and he like gave back to the people in that sense too. I love that about his character. And then when like he saw that things were going uh, the wrong way and like he was thrust into action. And also too, I know I'm, I might get some disagreement on this. He was only a violent man when necessary. No, like he absolutely. wasn't a violent just to be violent. No. And I, I like those kind of characters. It seems like he was maybe even like reluctantly choosing to do that. You know, like as you said, he's the character that does the necessary and sometimes maybe you have to be violent mm -hmm. in order to get the thing done that ultimately is going to achieve you know overall good for everyone i thought as well like the action was really cool great and i loved how there was like a different type of action for mohan lal and then a different type of action for prithviraj because like mohan lal's a big guy if you notice he wasn't really doing a lot of really fast moves mm -hmm. he was just like the guy who's really strong and he catches you and it just like boom oh, just yeah. picks you up and takes you out whereas with Prith Virage they were able to kind of do more like fast like, motion <laughs> stuff you know yeah, yeah, yeah. which makes sense and I like that because you know that tells me that they took into account the character For and sure. the physicality of the actor as well and what made sense but to your point they were both like stylized and sick in their own yeah. way it wasn't like exact same type of moves and then also too you got the you got hand to hand with them both and then with Prith Virage yes cool with him too you got to see him uh, doing some gunfights as well and yeah. he's again just amazing and I love the rapport between the two of them they didn't have a ton of interactions but just like again the visual storytelling between the facial reactions like you know exactly what they're thinking uh, I do want to give uh, is it Vivek uh, Ob Oberoi Ob Oberoi he again I hated his yeah. character so much <laughs> he's the most vile and disgusting yeah. type of, of villain ever his performance his acting was terrific so good I hated him <laughs> With every fiber with of my With a passion. Yeah, he was, he was so he was great. gross. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he he really went all the way yeah. with this character. And, and like, also just the way that they directed him as well. Like, mm -hmm. the portrayal of him in the shots and all of that. For I was sure. just like, this the, guy is the worst yeah, baddie ever. Yeah, how he manipulates people and what he was... I'm not going to go into it, but what he was doing to his, do uh, his daughter-in-law. How he manipulated his wife. Yeah. Uh, tried to act all compassionate. How he manipulated the media like he was a special kind of vile villain so i i love the writing and his character how awfully evil he was and how he tried to control everything and he just didn't realize he was poking the wrong bear yeah steven yeah <laughs> he got his his due he, in the he end. got his due in the end i yeah. really do wish that we could have seen another fight scene with I, mohan lal I, and vivek obroy just because i know. agree i totally agree with you like it would have been satisfying just seeing him like just go just like, uh, with his bare hands just, just just beat down him. on the guy. I yeah. agree with you, but I mean, I think like Stephen would have just annihilated him so easily. But but having said that, I no no no. Yeah yeah. Having said that, it would have been very satisfying because of everything he had done up until that point. Just to see him like get that prolonged, longer deletion that he deserved, rather than a couple gunshots that probably took about ten seconds or less. Yeah. Because he deserved a torturous long deletion. Yeah, for so, sure. I agree with you there. I'm not saying I disagree. <laughs> I, I totally agree. So um. I also want to shout out to Vino Thomas. Um, I really enjoy him in just about everything that I've seen him in. And so he was just like a really nice little addition to this as well as uh, the, the son, Jatin. Yeah, he just has so much charisma yeah. and charm. I love that scene with the reveal where like initially he was speaking really was, like, bad right? Malayalam yeah, no, or whatever. No. And then all of a sudden it was like, no, actually I'm going to go off script and I'm going to be really, really cool yeah. and all that. Yeah. And I also, uh, too, I like that he decided... Like, hey, I'm not going to just be a puppet here. I'm going to decide, like, I'm going to step into my... Yeah. Not, not my father's shadow. I'm going to be my own man, and I'm going to do this my way, uh, the right way. And also, too, then we find out the reveal through him that, yes, this is my brother, and he took care of me. And, again, I just thought that was good character development. It was fleshed out in a way that I found personally satisfying. And, yeah, I like the way... Because, again, I, the way it was structured with his character, at least to begin... I yeah. thought he was kind of just going to be a puppet. So I thought that was, uh, again, good subversion of expectations with his character. So I appreciated the way they developed his character. I mean, he didn't get a ton of screen time, but the way he, again,
again, uh, with where we were focused with all the other characters, I thought it was done, in, in, again, in a very satisfying way for me personally. Yeah. I mean, overall, I think I really, I enjoyed this movie. I did too. Yeah. Um, and for the two hour and 55 minutes or whatever it was, for the most part, I thought it was pretty well paced as well. I, yeah. I didn't feel like it was dragging at all. So. I think like uh, for me at certain points, like with the exposition and stuff, mm -hmm. I kind of wish that there was a way that it could have been truncated a little bit more. I but I think it was just like there was so much going on right. with like all of the, the different players. It wasn't just yeah, like a simple like yeah. there's one. Well, kind of there was one bad guy, which was Bobby, but there were all these other different players right. going on. And so you kind of needed the time to just be like, right. okay, I mean, let me absorb this. For sure. And as a writer, too, there's so many, you got all these characters to introduce. You got all this corruption in society, all the politi uh, politics stuff. I mean, there's so many things to include. So it's it's a tough task. But for the most part, I thought it was done pretty yeah. tight and pretty well. Yeah, it was interesting because like, like you said, it was like half an hour of exposition pretty much. And yeah. then we didn't even see see our main actor yeah until like well after half an hour into the movie i was like itching i was just like <laughs> come on i need yeah. to i need to see him i want some action right now but like it didn't disappoint once it got going exactly it was built up so well that you're like let's go let's go and then when the, we got that action sequence and also too to your point too they did a good job of holding back on action sequences yeah. that once we did get them done so well and and just again just a fun awesome epic way and also i know i said it a few times during the reaction i love the score the in score this film the score is great i mean uh, it was just invoking all the emotions we were supposed to feel it, there was some orchestral uh, done and then there were some uh, i don't know how to pronounce it. it's like the I, I forgot how to pronounce whatever that is, but I loved it. That's like my jam. Um, <laughs> I know. I, you'd think of, for my jam, I would know uh, how to pronounce what, what is that it. What is it? Like the choral singing? Yeah, or it's, it's, kind of, it's something like that. It's like Hans Zimmer always does that with like Lisa Gerard. It's, he always has like background like that uh, with like a woman uh, orchestral thing oh, where she's kind of doing what you just said, like a cappella. But yeah. I love that. It just I, it just always gets to my feels when I hear music like that. But again, uh, just so many different array of, of emotions, and the score was just hitting me in the feels it's one of those scores where i'm like it goes perfect along with the film but it's also one of those scores where i can listen to it even without the film as well yeah truly a, a really wonderful score yeah. and i mean i think i don't know what the movie is saying exactly but what i got from it obviously don't trust the media and um, politics is dirty and messy yeah. and gross and, and also too joke. you got to be careful who you trust as well in your inner sir i mean just like there's so many people and just whoever can just betray you at any yeah. which time i mean you just oh my god uh it's just it's a crazy world we live in it is a crazy world we live in yeah. and maybe we're better off with some people like lucifer taking care of us along the way yeah no i mean i think the world would be i mean yes we know he's a gangster and all that but i think the world would be a better place if there were people who injected themselves politically or behind the scenes politically like him if doing that god's work as you say yeah um, so anyway yeah. guys thank you so much thank for joining us and we will see you next time comment below what else you would like us to watch i'm achara kirk this is andrew flash gordon ciao